God. God don't lie and he don't change. People change. He said, I'm the first yesterday, today, and forever. I don't change. But we have people come through and they make different Bibles to try to include people that the Most High did not include. That's right. And that's why they go into the lake of fire. Because the Bible says that we shouldn't add or we shouldn't take away from this Bible. Those that do so is going to be less in the kingdom. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible is telling us. So we need to start to get it right. You Israelites, get it right. You're not none of them old fake Baptists, Church of God in Christ, Jehovah wickedness. You ain't none of that stuff because God did not give us no religion. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments that we're supposed to keep. Am I right, brothers? That's right. That's what the Bible says. But when you came over here in slavery, the white man taught you the word of God. That's right. And he taught you a docile doctrine. He taught you one third of the Bible. Amen. That's right. what the Bible did. That's what they did. And we coming out here to open our people's eyes to Amen. the truth of the Most High God. His name ain't no Jesus because the letter J didn't come into existence until 500 years ago. His name is Yahweh God and his father name is Yahweh. Am I right, brother? That's right. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh the Father. That's who we are. We are the chosen people. Not nobody else. We are the chosen people. The so-called black man, the so-called Mexican man, the so-called Native and Seminole Indian, the so-called Puerto Rican, the so-called Cubans, the so-called people from Zebulon, the so-called people from Asher, the so-called people, the 12 tribes. Come and look on this board, brother. You'll see exactly who you are. Huh? No, I mean these 12 right here. Hey, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is who we, the, the Bible is talking about. The 12 tribes of Israel, brother. He's talking about this right here. You're a so called Mexican, right? If you're a so called Mexican, brother. Yeah, if you're a so called Mexican, you're from the tribe of Issachar. You're from the tribe of Issachar. You're one of God's chosen people, brother. You know what I'm saying? You're a special people. If you do what God tells you to do by keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, you are a chosen people. Somebody give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6, brother. We're going to learn today. We're going to learn today who it is that God came from. We're going to learn today that we are a chosen and a special people. And if we keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, we are above all people on the face of the earth. Am I right, brother? Read. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read, brother. For thou art an holy people. For thou art what? An holy people. For we are a holy people. Until the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Wait a minute. What did the Bible say? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. What did the Bible say, brothers? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Read. To be a special people. To be what? A special people. To be a special people. Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So ain't no equality in the Bible. There ain't no such thing as everybody equal. God said if we keep the law, statutes, and commandments, we above all people on the face of the earth. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible says. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and 17. Let's see who God loves, what world God loves. Everybody heard about for God so loved the world. That's the famous scripture by the so-called Christianity. Christianity don't mean that you love God. Christianity means that you are doing a man-made doctrine. But if you are a Christian, you are a follower of the Most High God. Am I right, brother? That's right. right. Read. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did the Bible say, brother? But Israel, Israel. But shall be saved. But who? Israel. But who? Israel. Read. Shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So in John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he's talking about the world of the Israelites. Am I right, brother? That's right. right. He ain't talking about this world right here because he said, if you love the world, you hate me. That's right. 
We got to get this thing right. That ain't no amen. We come out here telling them, you get on down the street and go to church tomorrow. I'm to I know, and, that, and, and the most high gonna come in that church and he gonna destroy it. That's right. He gonna come in the church and he gonna tear that church up one of these Sundays. Y'all sitting up in that church, hollering about Holy Ghost and Jesus Christ and all this stuff, lying and everything. Sending the people to y'all feel for the fire. See, give me that's right. Give me the book of First uh, Corinthians chapter six and nine. Let's see what the Bible says. That's what's wrong with us people today. You got to understand what the truth is. That's right. And these brothers ain't speaking the truth. No. Because if they was That's in the right. building, they need to come out the building. That's right. We need help outside the building. That's right. That's right. Because and then somebody give me, and then somebody give me the book of Acts chapter seven and verse forty-eight. Let's see where God told that he say where he's not at. Come on with it. First Corinthians chapter six and nine. Read, brother. No, he is not that the unrighteousness. No, you that the unrighteousness shall not inherit. The kingdom of God shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Know ye that the unrighteous, if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you don't have a right to the kingdom. Ah. Read what you got, my brother. Right. Acts chapter 8, verse 49. 48. 48. Read. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples. That's made right. with hands. He said, I don't call in none of them churches that made with man's hand. That's what the Bible says. But right. we don't care about what the Bible says. We care what our preachers say because he come and give us a song in the band and lie to us. And we was raised up on lies, so we're not going to believe anything but lies. We will never believe the truth because we never heard the truth before. That's right. When somebody starts telling us the truth, then we don't understand it because we never heard it before. Right. Did he say you was special? That's why you He is special. God said we're special. That's right. God said that we are special. If we keep the law, statutes, and commandments, God said that we are a chosen people above all people on the face of the earth, and that there is no one that is above us. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. And let's see. And somebody give me the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and 9. We don't know Jesus. No, that's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shah. Because the, the letter J the letter J didn't come into existence to five hundred years ago. His name is Yahweh Shah because that is the truest form of the Hebrew language, sister. Jesus is not even a Hebrew name. That's in the Greek. We speak Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah, and his father name is Yahweh. What is his father name? Yahweh. What is his father name? Yahweh. That's what his father name. What is his name? Yahweh. What is his name? Yahweh Shah. That's what his name is, Yahweh Shah. Read what you got, brother. But this is what's going to happen to all the people. This is what's going to happen to all the people that had us in slavery. Mistreating us and treating us bad. Read, brother. The Revelation. Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. Somebody give me Revelation chapter 13 and 9. Okay. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on who? On Jacob. Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose who? Israel. He said he's going to choose who, brother? Israel. Israel. Read. And set them in their own land. And set us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the who shall be joined with them? Strangers. All those people that did us wrong. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they shall cleave to us. Read. And the people shall take them. Uh, we're not going to ask no question. We're going to come and take them. Read. And bring them to their place. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. And the in house the of land. Israel shall do what, brothers? Possess the them. The house in the of land Israel of shall the do Lord. what, brothers? Possess them. Read. And the land of the Lord for servants. And what? And handmaids. Uh huh. And they shall take them captive. Whose captives they were. Whose captives were we before? White man. White man. Who had us in captivity? The white man. And what did the Bible just say, brother? And they shall take them captive uh -huh. whose captives they were. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And who is the oppressor? The, the white, white man. man. And the Bible says we're going to do what to them? Rule, rule over them. We're going to rule over them. 
Read what you got in the book of Revelation 13, 9 and 10, brother. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Read. If any man have an ear. If any man can hear what this word is saying, read. Let him hear. Let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led us into captivity? White man. Who led us into captivity? White man. Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall do what? Shall go into captivity. They're going to go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword uh -huh. must be killed with the sword. We ain't got no sword today, but they sure is killing with the sword, with the gun. And we're going to turn around and start the killing again when the Most High give us permission. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We got to be patient. We can't go out we there see. and try to fight anybody because we don't have no military power. Only the Most High we says, see. wait for him. Because he says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. That's what the Bible says. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. We don't go out there doing this and saying all sorts of things. Going out there wanting to kill people. That's not what the Bible tells us. The Bible told us to be patient. Patiently wait on the Most High. So he can come back and do what? A recompense against the heathens. Those that dis mistreated us and did us wrong. They prepare slaughter. for his children. Give me that, brother. That's it. That's fourteen twenty-one. Read what the Bible says, that brother. It's in uh, fourteen and twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one. Stop talking. Stop talking so much. Only one God. I know. Stop talking. Listen to me. Everybody worship him. The people. Different religion. 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 For the children. For his children. For the iniquities of their fathers. For the things that their fathers have did to pass law for his children. Is that what the Bible says? That's right. Read. That they do not rise nor possess the land. That they won't rise nor possess the land or fill what? Nor fill the faces of the world with cities. Or fill the faces of the world with cities any longer. That's right. The day of that, that day is coming to an end. We don't come out here and read another doctrine. We come out here and read what the Most High said in the King James Bible. We don't read out of all those other Bibles that they created in the 80s and the 90s to include everybody in the kingdom. Because the Most High did not include everybody. That's right. The Most High don't even love everybody. She so can, if you can show me in the Bible or if you can pull me one scripture, not two or three, just pull me one scripture that God loved everybody, I'll take you to lunch today. Do you love everybody? No. Find me one scripture. I know what you're going to say, John 3, 16, but we got the true definition and the understanding of John 3, 16. That's right. It ain't what they teach you in the church. It's what the Bible says. Because the Bible says precept upon precept. A little bit in the Old Testament and a little bit in the New Testament. The reason you don't understand this Bible is because you do what the preachers say that the Old Testament are done away with. But that's a lie. The Bible is one book, not no old and not no new. Am I right, brother? That's right. Who's y'all preacher? Who's y'all preacher? I'm not no preacher. Do you see me in a church? Do you see me in the church? I see you right here. I'm not no preacher. No, we don't have no preacher. Give me the book of I, uh, give me the book of Jeremiah 23 and 1. Let's see what the Bible says. She keep hollering about preachers. Let's see what the Bible says is gonna happen to them people in them church call themselves preachers. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's get you in your house. Read what you got, brother. Whoever got it? Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Read. Woe be unto the pastors. Woe be unto the pastors, read. That destroy and scatter. The sheep of that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Of my pastor. Saith the Lord. Says who? Saith the Lord. Says who? Saith the, the Lord. Lord. Read. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God of Israel. 
against the pastors that feed my people. Yea, have scattered my flock and driven them away. You have scattered my flock and you have driven them away, Reed. And have not visited them. And have not did anything for them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. I'm going to visit against you, pastors, the evil of your doing for keeping my people in a docile doctrine, for keeping my people going to the churches, praise dancing, wearing crosses around their necks, hollering about a trinity, hollering about there's going to be a rapture, but there ain't no rapture. Ain't nobody going to go up. The Bible says just like the Lord's Prayer, thy will be done, thy kingdom come That's right. on earth as it is in heaven. The same way that it is in heaven, it's going to be the same way on earth. Right. There ain't going to be none of this foolishness. Ain't going to be none of this rubbish or none of that. That's what the Bible is saying. Jesus ain't nobody. Read. We don't care nothing about no Jesus. We care about the most high Yahweh shot. That's right. Jesus, the word, the letter J wasn't even in existence. What, five or two, five hundred years ago? So how could his name be Jesus? That's right. Green shirt. Green. Let's go on with it. What, what we gonna go with?